everyone, welcome to Cellular Dyes. Today we will be dyeing this orange royal grace and I'll take you along on the process. All the products that I'm using are linked in the description below. So go click on those if you're trying to pick up some dyes, some Floetrol, any of that good jazz. And please leave a comment, like the video, subscribe. Um, it would definitely help me out. So for this tutorial, uh, like I said, we're dyeing that orange grace. And so I'm gonna be sticking with yellows, oranges, reds, um, any, any greens, blues, or purples will probably turn the, the disc brown. Um, if you know anything about the color wheel, uh, that's generally what happens when you mix orange with any of those colors. Uh, that's a helpful tip. Learn the color wheel if you're dyeing discs. That'll really help, especially when you're dyeing colored discs. So I've lined up my colors in the bed. Um, vertically there and then I'm going to do a horizontal stream of black along the upper edge there. This will help define my cells once they start being created. I'm going to lay down my plastic wrap and then I'm going to drag that plastic wrap across the bed dragging all of the black over top of all the color, all the reds, yellows, and oranges. And then this is more of a chameleon style dye. It didn't turn out super chameleon. You'll see at the end how, how it looks. But uh, the strategy with chameleon dyes is to, it's a little bit more uniform cell development where you're placing the cells. And so I'm using these Afro picks. Um, and I actually use WD-40. Uh, but I think a lot of people that do chameleon dyes better use the three-in-one silicone oil. So I've linked that down below. So definitely check that out and buy some. I think I'm going to switch over here soon. The three-in-one silicone. But yeah, I've I've poked all my holes in, in the lines, and now I'm torching the bed, trying to coax those cells out. Uh, like I said, I used WD-40 on this one, and I I like how it looks. I like the effect it gives me. Um, but as I torch it, I just make sure that I'm not, you know, obviously overheating certain parts. As soon as I overheat it, it becomes very leathery, the Floetrol on top, and that will prevent cells from forming. So you really gotta keep that torch moving and help cook those cells out of the bed. Once I've got the bed where I like it, I slowly lower the disc down into the bed and then I will place the bed underneath these heating lamps here for about four hours under heat. After four hours, I'll pull them out and I start to wash them off. I make sure to put that bucket underneath uh, that container there. That helps dilute some of the dye in the Floetrol. I never pour straight Floetrol down the, the drain. But there it is. This is how it turned out. This was a commissioned disc for a customer and they really, really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.